Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be recreating a lovely set that my client brought in as her inspo photo. We're gonna be using that color combo on one hand, and then on the other hand, we're gonna be actually doing the opposite. So we're gonna be using dark colors and broken hearts to give off an anti-Valentine vibe. That being said, I accidentally recorded one too many videos for the Valentine season. So instead of deleting that and losing that footage, we figured we would give you guys an extra video. So today, Sunday, for all of you early birds that are watching this video, you guys are gonna get a giveaway. So throughout this video, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Answer that question down below in the comment section and you will automatically be entered in the giveaway for today's video at 1 p.m. So you have a little under five hours to enter that giveaway. Good luck to all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, I'm starting off by removing the shine from her natural nail. I went ahead and removed the design she previously had on her nails. I figured because I've been doing videos for so long, it can get very repetitive. So I'm trying to change it up and kind of speed up the process for you guys so it doesn't get super boring. We're gonna be buffing off that shine with my Pro Balls Backstage Mandrel Bit and Medium Grit Sanding Band. I have my e-file at a speed of 4,000 RPMs. I do think that that is the appropriate speed and I don't feel like anyone should go beyond that speed. So I'm just very carefully, very light-handed, going over that natural nail, gently pushing that cuticle area back to expose a little bit more of her natural nail. And all in that same motion, I'm buffing off the shine and removing any lifted acrylic she may have. It is very minimal, but you still want to remove that all the way off. And because it is very thin in that cuticle area, it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to remove. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that. This is for my day. Next, we're gonna be prepping that cuticle area. I am so excited to be using this bit from Kiara Sky. So I'm giving it a go on my client. I've already tried it on myself, but this one is just going in around that cuticle area, taking place of that needle bit that I usually use. It's nice and tapered up at the tip, so it makes it very easy to go around that cuticle and remove any excess dead skin that I may have missed with my mandrel bit. Definitely recommend this bit. It is becoming very quickly one of my favorites. Now I'm going in with my cuticle ball bit. This one is from Amazon. You can find it linked in my Amazon storefront. And now I have moved my speed on my e-file up to 5,000 RPMs. That is my comfortable speed and I feel like it gets rid of the dead skin very well. If you have very stubborn skin that you cannot remove, go ahead and up it a little bit in speed, but always remember to use very light pressure when doing this process. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. Then we're gonna be cleansing that natural nail. Now, I've always said this in my fill videos, you can absolutely wait to reshape the nails at the end because you're already gonna be doing that process anyways. But I prefer to do it now so that my acrylic lays very nicely and I don't have to over file at the end. So I'm just taking my hand file. This is a Tammy Taylor peel and stick file, also linked in my Amazon storefront. And I go alternating from the left to the right, right to the left. I don't try to stay on one side for too long because I do not want to over file one side or the other. So to get the perfect stiletto, you wanna go back and forth and making sure that that point is right down the center of her natural nail. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that. And I'm making sure that I'm thinning down that area where her her natural nail ends, also known as the free edge. I wanna make sure that that specific little area where the apex also is, I want to kind of thin it out a little bit because it is the thicker part of her nail growing out. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting it nice and thin again and reshaping that stiletto into the sharp, slim shape that my client wants. 
Now I'm taking the Kiara Sky Lint Free Wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, cleaning the surface of the nail, specifically the natural nail area. It's gonna dehydrate and get rid of any dust particles. Now I'm going in with the Triple X Bond from Not Polish. I'm gonna be really scrubbing that in her natural nail area. And then we're gonna be going in with the second coat just to ensure that we get zero lifting. I always say in my videos that the prep always takes the longest and then my application is so quick but it's so satisfying to do fills in my opinion. So I'm taking Dream Seduction from Not Polish. It is the color that we have been using on her set. I'm also using the Not Polish acrylic brush in a size 12 and their monomer as well. I'm gonna be taking a medium sized bead of acrylic and applying that near the cuticle, gently pushing up and then very quickly blending that downwards. And I'm making sure that I'm tucking in the sides and really cleaning that up as I want it to be laid nice and perfect and have zero overflow into her skin as that can cause lifting. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on the rest of the nails. Again, it's a very quick process. Once you get your liquid to powder ratio down, your fills are going to be super, super quick. Now the question for the giveaway. I want you guys to answer down below with a fire emoji followed by your answer. So I know that you guys didn't just go to the comments and answer according to everybody else's answers. So the question, I want you guys to tell me down below, starting with a fire emoji, what your goal is for the next five years. I wanna know where your mindset is and where you want to be. Good luck to all of you guys, and I'll see you guys in a little under five hours for the giveaway winner. Now very quickly, I'm just taking some clear acrylic from Not Polish and we're gonna be going in and kind of slightly encapsulating. I'm just trying to even out that area. As the nail grows out, you wanna kind of rebalance that acrylic. So I'm just adding a little bit more thickness right there as I know she is prone to breaking her nails. And because they're stiletto and super, super thin, I wanna ensure that they are the right thickness so that she does not come back with broken nails. She's been doing really, really good, so we are all proud of her. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and then we're gonna be starting our filing process. For this process, I have my e-file at a speed of 10 to 11,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using the five in one bit from Kiara Sky. This one is the medium grit in the color rose gold. So I'm just going very gently around that cuticle area and then very lightly going on top of the surface of the nail and filing it, trying to get rid of any lumps or divots that I may have. So I'm just gonna go in and file it very, very carefully, repeat that on the rest of the nails, and then we are going in with our hand file.
Now, because we are going to be doing some nail art, I'm taking the Kiara Sky Buffer and really buffing that surface of the nail. I feel like it doesn't make it super, super smooth to where any chipping will happen. So I've really come to like this buffer. I'm just going to go ahead and go over the entire surface of the nail. And then if she has any little areas that need to be fixed, I will go ahead and do that now. I'm taking a lymph-free wipe and some Young Nail Swipe, cleaning the surface of the nail along with the underneath of the nail. This is just going to help remove dust particles so that you do not struggle applying your nail art. Now for the nail art, we're going to be recreating that same design and it's basically just random blobs of whatever colors you choose. For this hand, we're going to be doing the pink and red and all gel paints are from Profiles Backstage and I will individually link them down below so you guys can purchase them if you guys are interested. They are my absolute favorite. Now the nail art liner is from a cart. Those are linked in my Amazon storefront. They are my go-to and I've used them for years and they are in fact my favorite and the best if you ask me. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that in pink and then we're going to be doing the red as well. Now we're going to be placing this in the light for a full minute and then we're working on the other hand while that's curing. So once I'm done, I take kind of a look at all the nails before I place it in the light. So I'm kind of looking at them here, making sure they're good, and then we go into the light. Now on the other hand, we're going to be doing dark tones as I mentioned. So we're going to be using that same red that we used on the other hand except we're mixing it with a little bit of black. And then on some of the fingers, we're going to be doing the blobs in black as well. So again, I'm just using that same liner and going in and drawing that randomly. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys this one and then I'm going to be doing the other ones off camera so that it doesn't get super repetitive for you guys. But again, always remember to cure whenever you feel it is necessary. I like to do all my first layer and then cure in the light so that I use my time efficiently instead of curing one finger one by one. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that off. Then we're going to be starting the hearts on the opposite hand. So for the nails that have the pink blobs, we're going to go in with red little hearts and random little dots. I'm just using that same red that I used on this hand. And then on the ones that have the red blobs, we're going to be doing pink. And the same goes on the other hand. So the ones that have black, we're going to be using the dark red. And the ones that have dark red, we're going to be using black hearts.
Now for this one, since we're gonna be doing broken hearts, I start off with one side and I'm not even gonna lie, this is a struggle for me. So if you guys think that I'm good at everything, trust me, I'm not. This little tiny broken heart I don't know why I feel like these squiggles in the center need to be perfect so I overthink it and then it just looks weird but you still get the kind of gist of it because it's still broken and separated but regardless I struggle and I overthink these tiny little broken hearts so I'm gonna go ahead and do those in black and like I mentioned earlier the black blobs have the red broken hearts Now once I'm done with this hand, we're gonna be placing that in the light. While we're placing that one in the light, waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna go in with my top coat and work on the other hand. I always alternate like that to try to make time go by a little bit quicker. So we're gonna go in with the Not Polished Gloss It. She did request shiny, so I'm gonna go ahead and really saturate that nail with a very thin layer of course, but I wanna really press that into the nail art portion so that it gets into any little creases and divots that may have occurred while painting on that design. And then again, we're gonna be placing that in the light, working on the other hand while this one is curing. And of course, we're going to be adding the last touch of cuticle oil. This one is the scent goddess from profiles backstage they are my favorite and they do not leave the fingers super oily and it will not ruin your photos so that is why it is my favorite I'm gonna go ahead and rub that into her skin and then I run my finger down the underneath of the nail just to make sure that there is no acrylic spillage or anything that needs to be resharpened that basically concludes today's video let me know what you guys think down below thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys learned a ton good luck to all of you guys and I will see you in a few hours